the beta function is used in probability and statistics. It has a definition in the form of an integral. It's a function of two parameters, alpha and beta. It also is stated to be equal to the gamma function, gamma of alpha, gamma of beta over gamma of alpha plus beta. Gamma of n is n minus 1 factorial when n is an integer. I'm going to show these two definitions match by performing the integral. The beta function is actually defined for positive alpha and beta, but I'm only going to use integer alpha and beta in my proof. I'm going to write a is alpha minus 1 and b is beta minus 1. I'm going to integrate by parts. This is going to make the power of a go up 1, the power of b go down 1. And by doing that repeatedly, I can get the 1 minus b factor to disappear and get an easy integral. So u is 1 minus x to the b, and dv is x to the a dx. When I evaluate uv, I actually get 0 minus 0, so the first part of the expression goes away. For the new integral, you can pull out b over a plus 1, and you get another beta integral. In the fourth line, I've written that recursive relationship. Now that we know how that works, we can immediately write the second integration by parts result by replacing b with b minus 1 and a with a plus 1 in the factor pulled out in front. So if we repeat that b times, the numerator becomes b factorial. The denominator is a plus 1 times a plus 2 up to a plus b, which can be written as a plus b factorial over a factorial. Simplifying that fraction, we get a factorial b factorial over a plus b factorial times a simple integral that turns out to be 1 over a plus b plus 1. Since alpha is a plus 1, gamma of alpha is gamma of a plus 1, which means it's a factorial. Likewise, gamma of beta is b factorial. And a plus b plus 1 factorial rearranges into gamma of alpha plus beta. Putting that together, the proof is complete.